Hey squad, so I'm going to talk about doing some blanching on your veg. Uh, blanching is kind of a necessary process before freezing because it slows the enzyme process that can lead to loss of flavor, loss of color, or texture. Because if you just freeze your veg, uh, a lot of times they're just going to end up mushy when they, uh, when they defrost. So I'm going to harvest a bunch of these collards and... Um, and then we'll go into the kitchen and start the uh, the blanching process. I'm just gonna chop away at these things, man, because got some real cold nights coming up, <clears throat> and I don't want these to go bad. Even though they've 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 made it quite well through a couple deep freezes. Get rid of that dead leaf. Boom. <clears throat> I don't want to lose these guys because collards are the heat. I'll chop off the stems once we get in there. Next up, I've got to clean these guys, so I'm just going to fill, uh, fill a sink full of water, add salt. How much? I don't know, just add salt, you know? We just want to clean them up good and make sure there's no, uh, no critters on them. So I'm dumping this whole thing into this sink of water, and I'm going to just mix them up real good for a few minutes. Make sure that they're nice and clean. No critters on them. Give me a final chance to inspect them. Make sure I didn't harvest any dead leaves and such. All right. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to boil these guys. Uh, try to get them into the pot without making a huge mess, which I am not succeeding at. All right. Pick up that leftover crap. That's why you want a clean stove top. So you can throw stuff back into the pot. <clears throat> now, the boiling process, we want for right around three minutes on the boiling process. Now, while this is boiling for those three minutes, uh, something else I did to prep for the next stage was fill up sink full of ice water right there. And I've got a strainer ready, and I went ahead and marked a couple bags with what's in it and the date. So we'll be right back. Boom. I'm gonna strain these guys. Get them straining good. Boom. And then I want to get them into, into this ice water as quickly as possible to stop the cooking process. Once they're nice and cold all the way through, then we're just gonna let them strain and uh, then put them into our bags. And voila, frozen veg. Better than the green giant. Ho, 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 rock and roll.